Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment, just a couple things before we get started. Everything that you need to know is in the description box. Um, I am giving away a free personal reading. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. The other thing that I'll mention is I am posting to my Meditation Relax Calm channel again if you'd like to check it out. Details in the description box. I got some, um, definitely some meditations, right? Could do for yoga or just relax, calm meditations, chakra balancing. Uh, also, just some relaxed stuff, you know, ocean vibes, aurora lights, right? Pretty stuff you could put on your TV. And I even have some holiday stuff too, as well, if you'd like to check it out. So with that, let's get started here, Sagittarius. Let's see who's coming towards Sagittarius. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Okay, interesting. We've got unrecorded love. Okay, maybe somebody who, um, you know, wasn't interested in the past or maybe somebody you felt rejected from. But it can mean something else. Let's see what else do we have. We have retreat. We have love yourself first and bottom of the deck here we have uh, reconciliation someone from your past is returning yeah so Sagittarius I feel like there could be somebody that you felt rejected from or you know it could just be um, this could be even someone that was just an acquaintance and uh, you and this person never got together there was interest uh, definitely pick up here um, an energy of distance or separation, love yourself first, okay, this could be somebody too that you, you know, maybe you made the decision not to pursue because you chose you, all right, I'm getting that as well, and then you have reconciliation from uh, someone from your past is returning, so I definitely get an energy that this is somebody that you know, someone who is coming towards you, Let's see what else the energy shows, right? And don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> I know people will say, oh, I don't want somebody from the past. Well, uh, that's what the cards show me here, right? If you're still thinking about the past, then you're going to manifest the past. All right. Oh, gosh. Some of my cards got turned around. I don't do reversals. We got the Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. Uh, somebody's very curious about you. They could even be trying to figure out what you're up to, maybe even spying. Let's see here. We got the Ten of Wands. I think I just have my deck upside down. And we have the Six of Cups. Soulmate energy there. We have an emperor, strong Aries energy. Got some dogs barking in the background. We got the sun card, strong Leo energy. We got the fool card. And there it is. Yeah, this person's going to reach out to you. We got uh, the page of pentacles and we have the Hierophant. So we got strong Taurus here. This is someone who definitely has love for you. I feel like their higher self is telling them that um, they want to connect with you. I feel here too, this could be somebody that you could have already been in a relationship with as well. That's going to be for some of you, not all of you. But really this person, because they feel the way that they feel about you, I feel like this person here is their higher self is telling them uh, to come towards you, all right? You got the Ace of Swords here, and you have the Emperor, right? You got unrequited love here. Now, you could have rejected this person as well. Uh, take it how it resonates. But this is somebody who's planning their next step, I feel. This is someone, too. Um, I also see the Ace of Swords, too, is... Right, um, you, you know, definitely they could have the clarity now of what they want. 
um, or that they want to communicate with you. But I also see it kind of of that epiphany energy. So I feel like this person um, is has definitely pl been planning to reach out to you is what I get here. Okay. So you can see there, you know, this emperor's holding that pawn piece, right? Ready to make a move. Now you have here the page of swords and the sun card. What I'm going to say with that Sagittarius, they could be spying on you. Maybe they think, right, you're, you're happy, you're doing really well. Um, but I also see this as that they feel that being with you or they see the possibilities of being very happy with you and the potential of where things could go is what I really see there. Some of you could have had um, some communication with this person, but it's kind of like, um, you know, kind of on and off communication or poor communication, I would say. So I really pick up an energy as somebody here that you know, okay? But I feel this person wants to investigate this more uh, with you. You have the Ten of Wands and you have the Fool card. There may have been some challenges in this person's life or this may be somebody who had past baggage that they brought into this connection in the past. And I feel like that is excuse me, Sagittarius, coming to an end here. I feel with the Fool card here, this person feels very drawn to you. And I feel like they want a new start, all right? They want a new beginning here. And I feel like this is someone, that's what they're thinking about. That's what they're planning. They want to take that risk. They want to take that leap of faith with you. And then you got the Six of Cups and you have the Page of Pentacles. So the energy that I get there, Sagittarius, is I feel like this person is planning their move towards you. And um, I feel like they're wondering if you're happy without them. I see that here too. And I feel like you're going to get some sort of message from this person because this person is thinking about the past times with you. And I feel like they're thinking about the good times, all right? They're thinking about the past memories, the good times that the two of you have shared, all right? And I feel like they're, you know, like I said, their higher self is really telling them to connect with you, okay? And you may even have the same values or beliefs as this person. So like I said, we have strong Aries, we have strong Leo, we have strong Taurus, we have earth, we have water, we have fire here as well, and air and an air uh, energy. So let's see what else. Uh, what else can you share with Sagittarius about this person coming towards them? Okay, three of swords. If you haven't heard from this person in a while, you're going to know who it is. Um, it's because, like I said, they're planning. I feel like they're planning here to figure out, you know, what they're going to say, how they're going to come towards you, because it does feel either they're hurt, you're hurt, or maybe both of you were hurt in this connection, right? There was definitely somebody here who felt rejected. And so I feel like that's part of this person, you know, you, they're their thought process of what they're going to say and how they're going to come towards you. Yeah, five of cups. There was some sort of disappointment from the past here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, eight of swords. They've been in their head about it. Definitely been in, <laughs> in their head about it. That's why there's been some time, some distance. Oh, gosh. Here it is again. Nine of swords. This person can't stop thinking about you. Now, they may have something on their conscience as well. Eight of Pentacles, but they know, right? They know that they want to work on this. And the Queen of Wands, yeah. So they're getting ready to take action. Um, and also, too, they're very, very attracted to you. And bottom of the deck here, you got the Four of Wands, all right? So... Some of you could even be a twin flame here, but if this was someone who, you know, things were never stable or this person never took things to the next level, I feel like that is changing here. This person, um, like I said, they've had an epiphany here 
And look, you also have here the Knight of Cups. So they're coming towards you in a romantic way. They have love for you. And I'm going to say here the Queen of Pentacles is here as well, which is telling me that this is someone who they see your value. And maybe they didn't in the past. Or there was something, um, some sort of burden or baggage from their past that prevented them from seeing it. So Sagittarius, let's uh, pull your Kipper cards. Oh, look at that. First card that popped out is the message card. So you're going to get some sort of message here from this person. Like I said, they've been planning this communication from what I can see. You got courthouse. Okay, that's about second chances, right? Um, this person has definitely thought about what has happened in the past. And uh, they're coming towards you, wanting a second chance here. Oh boy, didn't I say it? I said this person is wanting something more stable, wanting something more serious. And then we have community on the bottom of the deck. So I feel, Sagittarius, this is about connecting, right? Communication, uh, you know, you, you reuniting with this person. This also could be somebody who lives in your community as well, or you may have mutual friends. But I feel, Sagittarius, that um, there's someone who wants something stable with you, wants something more committed, um, you know, whether you want that or not. So, Sagittarius, I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.